Let's begin. It's it's begun. How to move on. Let go and leave your past in the past. Powerful speech. Well, this is an underwhelming, uh, powerful image, okay? Because, I don't know, it's this person is frozen, okay? They're frozen. They have no life. They're dead. They're, it, they only not looked at it because they still have flesh, rosy aspects, okay? But is that, I guess, yes, they're overcoming the cold and wow, they're alive underneath the ice, okay? But it's not something that gets you right away okay I, anyway let's get started let it go the things that have let it go yes yeah, see they're telling you the eye of course it's the eye of course it's the eye yes it's all about the perspective and 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 the angle it's not the angle it's the degree do you have the degree or do you smash the degree and follow the way yes absolutely have happened in the past the things that aren't happening right now let it go if you want to be yes. jump off the cliff that's exactly what you're supposed to do you, you're supposed to jump off the cliff yes into the abyss free stop locking yourself into the prison of your past if you want to see the light stop holding yourself in the darkness of your past if you really want to move on release the heavy weight from your back if you what what is this you know a bunch of you know tripped out people i mean what is this coming out of the stone age yes the symbology it's all there don't want them to win let it go move on and create your best life you move on and there you go folks that's the promise the false empty promise, right? You would never allow a thief to enter your home and live there rent free. So why do you allow thoughts that steal your joy to enter and live inside your mind? Right, because if you didn't have thoughts, then joy would be that state. No, you're wrong. You're bashed. You're smashed and dashed. And you've been pumped and dumped, right? Because you have no idea. And... Uh, It's the carrot, you've, the string in the carrot, you, you know, you're the mule, you've been worked, you've been, you, you're, you're being exhausted to the last drop, you know, you're that horse that they're going to blast a bullet through its brain, <laughs> the, you know, uh, the minute it gets to the top, because that was the last thing it did, but they're cheering you on so bad, you know, you will believe it, and you'll make it, and then once you're there, blast it in the brain. Let it go. Had a moment of confrontation? Let it go. Don't allow it to live in your mind, stealing the joy from the rest of your day. Someone. That's right. Oh, that poopy, that poopy thought. It's trying to steal my fun and my joy. Look, all I want to do is just chill on this amazing, her, you know, into the abyss. I want to stare at the abyss and not be bothered. Okay, I can't be bothered. I can't have, you know, actual thoughts that. Perhaps it's, yes, the devil talking to you and trying to deceive you. But no, you will not sit and actually uh, rise above that or overcome it so that you can actually understand the wisdom that exists in the, those, the signs and the times that are just blasting in your face. But no, you won't, you won't give it the time to, you know, decipher it and be humbled. You know, basically just be bashed to the ground and accept where you are, the place. And yes, this is all this is all for you in the sense that it's all here to tell you something it's not here for you to just you know go in there and and piss and then come out and take pictures no did you wrong let it go they will ruin more of your life if you allow them to invade your mind like a virus which will only affect the quality of your life in every other area the best revenge is always moving on. The best revenge. Right, guys? Because, yeah, have revenge because use it to move on. No. Horrible advice. Revenge is, is, 
revenge is the lie, right? Because there's no there's no justice that you can come to uh, impose on the will of another man without being a complete immoral act because you you have no authority you know the creator is that and of course people will bash other people and smash but that's because they don't give a damn and they ultimately won't be stopped until uh, if and somebody puts them in their place for example in avoiding death or death to others for no reason but of course most people that stand in their way get smashed and dashed on and pumped and dumped and delivered false information okay yes letting go Showing your ego is brave enough to let go. Showing you are strong enough to enjoy your life. Yes, show yourself you are strong enough to climb a mountain and reach this shriveless tree. Yes, go for the empty promise because it sure feels good if you make it up that hill, right? Just because you have, you have pump endorphins pumping in you, right? But no, it... <sighs> Truth cuts deeper. And faster than any man-made sword and no no man-made obstacle will give you that thrill okay you will you, you can only bask in its reward right because th you can't do anything to actually make it true or untrue it simply is and you stand with it or you stand against it yes that is true and this guy knows it and he's trying to walk the fine line he's trying to walk the fence yes he's lukewarm and he will be smashed to live your life fully, regardless of what happens or who isn't doing the right thing by you. Let them have their accidents somewhere else. <laughs> Let them have their accidents somewhere else. Meaning, the mistakes that other people and you yourself are brainwashed to believe that, oh yeah, make, make all the mistakes. Make the mistakes, that, make them faster. And that's how you become successful. But you must learn from them. So this guy is thinking about all the relationships he's been in. How he's, he's, he's been bashed and dashed on, right? And, of course, how... No, he's not going to think, you know, what did I do? Or what am I doing wrong? He, he's not surrendering. He's not humbling. No, he's just feeling sad for himself because he's been bashed and dashed. And now he wants... He He's just so sad. He's devastated. He doesn't know. But instead of allowing himself to uh, just abandon that way that life that paradigm no he's gonna go further deep into the abyss he's gonna go further deep i bet yes life hasn't gone as planned it doesn't for anyone move on focus on the good those who live amazing lives haven't gotten lucky when right just do what feels good guys just do what feels good yes when things don't work out they move on quickly and focus on the next positive they drop the negative like a hot potato and focus on what they can do today to get in a better state better state there you go better position right just all based on positioning yes and how do you base that guy okay how do you base that Obviously, you're going to base it on how people respond to you. Obviously, you're governed by that. And you love the world police. Yes. You love the thought police. Yes. You love it. You subscribe. And you actually probably write articles for them. Yes. And, of course, there's nothing better than the, the, the look of denial. And that's it right there. Look. Perfect. They don't seek sympathy from family and friends. They focus on what is good in their life and let go of the negatives. Don't cheat on your future with your past. It's over. Commit to your future and it will be a... Sh Don't cheat on your future with your past. Wow. Both non-existent realms, so you're completely smashed. You have no idea. You have no concept of what life is, right? And the, 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 the spiral, the serpent flies, right? You have no clue. You have no depth. Look, the only depth is, is this out-of-focus depth perception here from this individual, clearly shown by this preposterous fake. It could be genuine, but most chances are she just got paid and is posing. So this is amazing. Okay, great. Strong, healthy one. If you don't let go of your past, your future will suffer. Understand this very important fact. You are the one who suffers most when you hold on to resentments, when you seek revenge. You are the one who wins when you do let go. 
Richard Carson once. Right, guys, because you need to win and you need to float with it. You need to float with it, guys. Remember, watch it. It's all there. And this person is doing exactly what it wants it to do. Yes, of course. It wants it all. And it wants your soul. And it's going to murder you in this water. But it is the life and the water. So you will return from that which you are. But of course, you have no idea. This it's That's just blasted. Your, bra your brain, it's lobotomized. You, it does not compute. Yes. Said. The key to a good life is this. If you're not going to talk about something during the last hour of your life, don't make it a top priority during your lifetime. How in the world are you going to know what it is you're going to talk in your last hour? No, that's a false. You know, it's just based on emotion, just like bucket lists and all this other nonsense, right? Living in the future. That's all it is, right? Again, you're, you're false. You're, you're a hypocrite. You're talking about what would you talk in the last hour of your life and that but you're like no don't don't use don't cheer on your future with your past like what as if it was all real no because this guy knows it's all in your head yes it's a big mess and look he knows it because look the abyss the abyss is just feeding just feeding it's feeding and it's feeding and sucking and sucking and he's being sucked and he's being sucked on and sucked off and he doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's doing. So he's just receiving. Well, apparently, he thinks he's receiving. But no. It's... it's it's. Oh, this guy is just being obliterated. Okay? He's being obliterated because he the wedge between him and his creator has... The, he, he's being singed from it. Okay? Look. That's the, that's the, that's the stare into complete astonishment of the abyss okay yes maybe we should all take that advice your ego will tell you once everything is perfect then i'll be happy but your but your soul knows the truth right so if your soul knows the truth then why can't it be your foundation no you just have to go out there and dash and smash and and just do everything and I'd try it all because you're you're just oh of course because it's biologically bashed into your, to your system right or at least you think that way and at least just so you can get your fill so you can have your cake and eat it yes but no <laughs> look at this <laughs> look at this person okay what is this person doing and uh, this is supposed to be you know a a bond okay they're clueless they have no idea because this guy wouldn't want to bash and dash in the world and this woman would not want to have a man that sees the world that way right because ultimately as the ultimate receiver and provider meaning the abundance you know embodied through the woman yes of course but then the man is the how can how can there be abundance if there is nothing to show it what to be or nothing to actually no no structure, no vigor to it. Nothing. It's just it's just forever. You know a a, a recital. It's like the 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 everlasting recital where there's kids that don't know how to play instruments and it's forever, right? Okay, you get the point. Soul knows the truth. Be happy. Then everything is perfect. No, life circumstances won't be perfect. But if you can get into the right space. Right, because it's space. And space, guys, guys, remember, it's real. So you have to get into the right space, meaning be blasted by the right influence, meaning the doctrine of self-embellishment and loving, you know, the worship of death, because that's what you fear. You fear death the most. And look at you. You're all complacent, sitting on somebody's lap, being, being the little boy of this mother figure, because... Yes, you you haven't forgiven and overcome the anger of your mother. No, because she ultimately brought you into the world and sold you into slavery because she sold herself. Uh, sadly, and uh, just I mean, who I don't know this person, but this is what happens to all the children th these days and for for a long time, as long as the soul has been attacked. Yes, and it's been a tool for manipulation, just as this woman is probably uh you know murmuring this individual uh, to a, a deep sleep yes right before she probably will uh evoke an enchantment on him further yes 
you can then get to the understanding that everything happens for a reason and be at peace with that. No, what you need to do is forgive and return to the father, right? The father, which the man is created in his image, yes, right? And woman was here to make partner with him to be his companion and procreate, right? Male and female, yes, okay? And what is the point, right? What is the point? Well, it's union, right? And it was always about, you know, bringing together, you know, com coming and walking in union, right? And of course, God had uh, the man as the uh, image, the one that's in his image. And it's not to say that man is separate, but of course, it's not to say that woman was created in such way she does have the breath of life yes but it was came through the flesh of man and it's of course if you have x and y chromosome then you have both and if you have xx of course you have two x's and where did the x come from well of course the man and where how does that mean genetics well who cares it doesn't matter what matters is men and women have a place in this realm okay and you can deny and defy and try try create your own image right but nobody cares and nobody cares and you know it because out at the end of the day you either are a moral person or immoral and your immorality will dictate how much violence and how much distress one experiences in a whole aggregate but also individually according to your mindset and what you hold in your heart and what actually drives your every single choice and thought Right, from what position do you actually orient yourself? Okay, enough. Let's talk about this. So be happy. Do whatever it takes to find your happy. Now okay, I think the guy said uh, it wasn't about chasing what was happy, but now he says it, yes. And now he's about to explain why he changed his mind. So he says, not because everything is good. Because everything is good, but because you see the good in everything. Oh. Not because every circumstance. Right. So it's basically all good, guys. It doesn't matter. There could be some just some somebody getting smashed and bashed and trashed in front of you. And guys, listen, ever you can just you know p think positively, and and it it will just be fine, guys. All right. So this is the level of trauma. This is the level of trauma that this individual looks, and that's why he has to go like clockwork every day at the same location to just stare into the abyss because now it's become a ritual he does not know he he cannot discern now whether or not it's it's his belief or if it's reality yes of course you can't because you you just afford you just basically solidified you totally crystallize your emotion and instead of emotion being there to kind of allow itself to be stirred by God and to let it steer you into a, a place of being humbled. No, you use it to 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 create your world. Yes, sad, very sad. It's a miracle, but because you see the miracle in life itself. Albert Einstein once said, "There's only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, and the other is as though everything is." I know which space I want to live in. What about you? Exactly. You made a good point. Whoever is talking, yes, powerful speech. Well, yes, there's you 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 made your choice, right? And it's oh, I don't know, maybe you chose where it's nothing is a miracle, right? And so that's why you're working so hard to just, you know, smash everyone because in doing so then you actually, you know, control the outcome, the outcome effect, the effect, right? And the fact of worship, worship, directing people's worship to you, to you and to your doctrine of false promise, which is as elusive as the waves that dis di you know, di disappear or just, you know, fade into the abyss, right? Because there's no horizon. It's an abyss and people actually don't know and people can claim what they think or what they know. But no, it's this is this person right here, this person right here might know what's going on <laughs> they might have a clue they might have a clue so there's hope absolutely there is okay and there's absolutely hope not in man and not in man's philosophy not man's 
righteous, you know, um, uh, facts, no, or stats or numbers, no. It's where the heart is, right? Because your heart is either written in stone or it is renewed and given of flesh and to bask with the wisdom of the creator, the living God that you can even come to contemplate of suiciding if you want to go and just disappear into the abyss. Yes, you have to even, you have to consider it. God, because otherwise you're just a fool that just walked into the water and just drowned, allowed water to go into your lungs for no reason, just because you felt sad about yourself. And it was so tragic, so tragic, so sad that you just had to go into the water and allow, take a big gulp of water and hope that it tumbles you and that you have no orientation further than the disorientation state, which you happen to be in. But let's hope that you have a clue of what's going on. And I'm, I, I'm certain that that's the case and I'm okay let's I'm just three minutes in come on guys so many so many holes in this guy what is this leave the darkness in the past blah blah blah, blah. the light of your future of course of course it's about the light guys the light look because no it cannot be about the life no it's about the light yes, forgiveness the light. is giving up the hope that the past could be any different. I think for myself, and I know many of you, you think forgiving means accepting what has happened to you. Well, it is accepting that it has happened to you. Not accepting- Oh my goodness. It's, again, it's all about you. It's all about you, right? Forget about what you're experiencing and actually condoning at every given transaction. Yes, I mean transaction because that's what even people do at a, at a personal level. That's it. They just exchange transactions with each other. That's it. People don't give a damn. Okay, this guy, this guy obviously doesn't give a damn. He's not. Even, this guy's not even wearing socks either. He's he's he just found these shoes and put them on, and he's just satisfied because now finally he has a soul. Right, because he, his soul is all gone. Right, he doesn't give a damn. And if it's just a fashion, you know, look, then twice he doesn't give a damn. All he cares about is how he looks. And and yes, looking good for this. That it was okay for it to happen. It is accepting that it has happened. And now, what do I do about it? Forgiving. Okay, right, because you can't see beyond yourself. Right. Oh. And of course, they're going to capitalize on that because that's who you have to cater to now, P the the victim, because that's the the me. He that's the meme because it's me. It's all about me, me, me. Look, that's why they don't show his face because he's too obsessed with himself that he can't even. He doesn't know anything else. He can't even. He, there's no facing it because there's nothing to face. It's faceless. It's faceless. That's right. That's right. And this forgiving that they're promoting, right? Because, oh no, it couldn't be, it couldn't possibly be that you have to look at what the emotive aspect body is or whatever you want to call it, but your motive, right? The emotive state, right? The empath in you. What is it saying? Is it, what is it? Do you know it? Do you know thyself? What is it? You're faceless. Okay. What is this? And what what's going on? Do you know that? Forgiving, come on, that means returning to the Father, right? Don't not do not stray. That means uh, uh, admitting you were wrong. That means admitting that you have been all in it for you. Yes, that means for the, that is forgiving, right? And because all this causes anger and rage, rage prevents you from forgiving, right? And if this person, this faceless person, if they are angered and enraged, and it, they're going to th use a rage to forgive, basically to brainwash themselves into thinking themselves out of, um, you know, the situation and creating a new paradigm magically. Yes. All because of belief. Yes. As long as you believe in forgiving, that's it. That's all you need to do. Because no, it doesn't mean accepting what happened to you, right? Oh, no. Because that's that's it. You're just blocked. You're bashed at that level. You're in, you're that's it. That's the mold. You're in the individual level. You cannot see beyond that, and you have you don't know, you don't know what overcoming means, right? Overcoming, overcoming doesn't mean bashing yourself over and over again, and and dashing and bashing and smashing and carving out people's brains out as well at, at every step of the way. No, it doesn't mean that. 
is giving up the hope, not holding on, hoping, wishing, that it could have been any other way than it actually was. Giving up the hope that the past could be any different. And when I got that, I think it took me to the next level of being a better person because I don't hold grudges for anything or any situation and neither should you. It's letting go so that the past does not hold you prisoner, does not. The only hostage is the rebel influence okay it's held hostage in you and you're you're conflicted you know whether to lash out and totally just you know go out in a blaze and totally just you know bash everyone who you think should be bashed and, and that's it right because everybody who's mad just thinks that getting rid of the people that disagree with them that's the answer yes that's the answer just just m murder just murder everyone that disagrees with you and the world would be a better place right yes no okay that's why you're hostage and you're currently undergoing the trauma so that you will uh, you will totally you know love the 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 uh, abuser but the abuser is you because you have no orientation and so therefore you turn and eat your own okay you eat your own Does not hold you hostage Yes, that's the story of two monks on a pilgrimage, and they come across, in a village, they come across a, a young 17-year-old uh, girl with a long kimono, trying to cross a very muddy road, but she's not daring to step into the mud. So one monk picks her up, carries her across the road through the mud, puts her down, and so the monks walk on in silence for another four or five hours. Yes, yeah, very, oh, very profound, guys. I mean, I'm sure you heard this proverb, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. But look, look, that's what it is. It's blind. It's blind. It doesn't know where it's going. Right. That's that's wh what this whole paragraph of the next, you know, conclusion is going to be. Right. You, the the idea that you can just drop, just drop, and and then shame others for somehow you know succumbing to that no you sh why doesn't this monk just sh tell the the monk how to overcome no he just brags and boasts and says shames him and says i stopped carrying her the minute i put her on the ground you've been carrying her the whole way home right okay and that just shows that everybody's bashed this is bashed okay you're bashed and this person is, uh, believes that this is so so profound okay no because Instead of just being completely um, um, courageous and in, in guiding, guiding when you know that something is not right, okay? And it's not to be hateful, absolutely not, because that is true love. Tr true love means standing in truth no matter what, okay? Yes, absolutely. Just practicing noble silence. And then after four or five hours, they're getting close to their destination. One monk says to the monk who had waked up the girl, Oh, you know, you shouldn't have done that because we monks are not supposed even to touch women. So you really, you shouldn't have picked up that girl. You're not supposed to do that. So the other monk says, oh, are you still carrying that girl? I put her down hours ago. So the other monk was still carrying the girl, the event, in his head. Four hours and later. And for four hours he was walking with this burden. Yes, <laughs> right. And that shows the... the the reluctance of the human mind to let go of the past. No, I think that story just boasts. It just clearly shows, you know, the spirit of boasting. It was just, it's almost like a joke, right? It is a joke. It's a mocking. It, they're mocking you. And just mocking you, like making you believe that this person is going to walk into the abyss on s with sandals and a dress. Yes, she is, she is suited for the abyss. Yes, that's what they want you to believe. You're completely suited to go into the abyss so just go out there and smash against this okay yes go and do it because we're feeling we're pumping you with all these quotes and that mean nothing okay yes <sighs> the truth is unless you let go unless you forgive yourself oh forgive yourself unless you forgive the situation unless you realize that the situation is over you cannot move forward steve maraboli who i don't know who this person is but 
this is false. Okay, look, they're telling it's like an ingredient list. Uh, forgive yourself. Yes, forgive yourself because that's all it is, and you have to love yourself. So just forgive yourself first, right? Yes. No, it can't be just to humble yourself and admit you're wrong. Yes. No, that's not right. No, you have to forgive yourself because, yes, it's up to you to forgive yourself, not the you know at not life, right? Life is just abundantly giving. Yes, and it always forgives. So you have to forgive. You must forgive. Y it's not forgive yourself. You must forgive. Right, and a lot, and and the love will overtake you, and a lot, and fill your life. Yes, and of course, uh, unless you forgive this, the situation. Right, okay, the situation again. What what does this situation have to do with? Uh, right, somebody who is traumatized physically, for example. Yes, okay, so they associate the the actual physical trauma as a situation right but no it couldn't be possibly that that person inflicting the abuse is an evil person evo evoking an evil um <sighs> and can just it, incantation really just blasting you but just smashing you just slaying you right right in front of you it couldn't be possibly that and that therefore you just have to th remember the trauma the actual physical trauma yes and you have to, f that's why you have to forgive the situation. How, <sighs> what horrible advice. I mean, how is this even, <sighs> this, the, of all the quotes that exist, this is the best one. And it's horrendous. Right, because, I mean, it's, <sighs> it's the evil that you have to overcome, right? And so you have to love it. You have to love your enemy. Yes. So you must forgive the end. All right. And, and then, yes, you can reflect on what it is that surrounds you, that you resent, that you're angered by, that triggers you and you must overcome. Yes. OK. And what is this? Unless you realize that the situation is over. How? OK. How it's been over. You're just living it, perpetuating it. Just smashing and bashing it in your head over and over, o over and over and over. Okay, and you cannot move forward. What well, what's moving forward? You don't even know what that is because you're totally disorientated, just confounded, just totally blasted. <sighs> okay. It's easy to blame those that have wronged us for just about everything that is wrong with our life. If it wasn't for them, I would be happy. Who says that? I guess a lot of people. If it wasn't for because yes, this they're showing it right in your face, right? Because it's the money, yes, and it's the B, right? The B and the six, B the six, yes, and it's the three, and it's right there, three two two. It's amazing, it's amazing, right? And it's right there. For them, I will have more money. If they didn't do this, I would be where I want to be. Most people get so caught up in blaming, they continue to blame and sabotage their own life long after the person is gone from their life. Most people hold on. Right, because oh, it's just about other people, guys, right? Yeah, it's just about that because you're just hamburger. You're just hamburger meat, right, guys? And basically, you just have to forgive another person, like, your best friend that you think is a pain in the ass. Yeah, you just have to forgive him and that's it. No, it can't be about, yeah, wh who actually guided you and uh, who you actually resent, right? Was it your mother, your father, both? Okay, you have to do that. Yes, that's that's how it is. And because anything about what you suffer in the world is because of your hatred for your father and your straying from the life and the truth. Exactly, because you are filled in darkness and no light will ever make your life whole, no. To the blame, because it's easier than moving on. Those who take responsibility for their life and are wanting to move on and put the past behind them are much more... I feel like this guy's about to hand off, like, you know, a, a crown. He's about to crown somebody, the way this guy's talking are much more likely to gain freedom, right? Okay, you gain freedom, guys. Apparently, it's something to gain. Look, it's right there. He, he's telling you. Oh. 
likely to gain freedom, success, and happiness. Now, this, this feels like this. Mean. This feels like the f the video that a gladiator gladiator was showed. You know, oh, so this you mean I can buy my freedom? You mean I can fight my way to freedom? Right. It's exactly the same. Look, this guy knows it. He knows this. He knows the scrambling that's going on through his vision right now. Right. It's turbidity. It's complete turbidity. Right. It's it's the complete. S siphoning right the siphoning out of the his life essence okay he knows it's it's being drained out of him but he, he he's okay because he doesn't give a damn there aren't horrible people in the world that have done wrong by others it is not condoning others behavior it is taking back the power they have from you when you are the one suffering long after they are gone. No, there's nobody that's hoarding power in a, in a, in a room. No, it's about the authority that they represent. Yes, because all they have to do is show up and you just bend over and scour and whimper. Because, no, it's not about the power that they're just, you know, holding over you. No, it's... It's what they represent and, and the trauma that allows it for it to happen, right? So you're not taking back any power back. No, it's illus It's an illusion, right? The power that you think you're getting back, no, it's only false. And it's only a false sense of ego. Yes, it's self-boosting. You're boosting yourself. You're totally just boosting. You're boosting and you're bumping and you're bumping and, and crashing and you're, and you're burning. You're burning, man. Look, you know. You know, you know what you're staring to. Yes, you know. So, uh, you're contemplating just like smashing against that, and and I think you're gonna do it. Who wins if you keep blaming them? Who wins if you move on? There's nobody that wins, okay? Because it's about overcoming, but you don't understand it, and you're corrupting this poor child, right? You're indoctrinating him in 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 the wrong, in the misled way. Yes, in the misled way, and this kid doesn't know, but, and that's why later on he will develop anger and resentment because he was defiled. Okay, yes. Forget about them and create the best life and success you could ever imagine. Who wins if you move on? Who wins if you forget about them? Take back your power. Take blame back, them blame them for what they have done for what they have but don't done blame them for what you haven't done right blame them for what they've done but bless them for making you stronger for making you better yeah guys so you better hope that there's guys just out there people out there just smashing and bashing you so that you can overcome right no sorry not so that you can overcome but so that you can have this as a uh, mantra right to thank them for making you better right because otherwise you're just a shell of a man or at least this is what this person is making it to come across right that any person that you know has a past trauma that apparently you have to hate them for the, the crime but you know bless them for making you better what trash okay what trash because uh, Yes, you better hope that your child gets abused then. And you better hope that you abuse your child because it doesn't matter what kind of abuse. You just bash them. Just bash them because it will it it will only make them better. Yes. And there's people that have done this in, in history and still do, right? And this person wouldn't surprise me as a person that underwent, a, you know, a parent that thought that way, right? Yes. And she might be turning away from the... the 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 wall or, or the smashing zone but she knows inside that her mind is a mountain that's about to collapse and it's about to sink her right because and smash her stone heart because that's what stone does stone smashes other stone yes it's showing you exactly what you don't want you can blame the world for bringing them into your life but then get grateful for all the lessons it taught you all the strength it gave you. Knowing your heart, if they knew better, they would do better. How good does it feel to take that? 
Yeah, but as long as man goes along with what they know as just pumping themselves full of Im- information and books and and strategies of man, yes, they were, they're bound to make mistakes. So they're basically, they cannot do better. So this this if they could do have done better they would have and whatever no okay they that's why forgive you need to forgive them yes forgive them but no they're not saying that they're saying forgive yourself because you need to not you need to hate them for what they did to you but no you must forgive them yes overcome do not let this to be a beacon even to even look back and look at on it proudly no you must overcome yes and guide others to overcome yes because otherwise it's a big circle jerk about how many things you overcame yes and not about the true experiencing of the true love everlasting right not the experiencing but the coming to be it the the full keys the full access to it yes in the living flesh of course that continues when you turn to dust. Yes, absolutely. Baggage off your shoulders to focus on building your future. What a blessing. See, look at this guy. I mean, he's looking back. Okay, can I put my hands down now? Because before he was staring into the abyss, right? So why does he put his hands up now and just look to now? Okay. It's not even real. So this is supposed to be, you know, amazing footage, like inspire me. But no, it just shows me, look, how it's so orchestrated. Of course it is. It's a video. But even so, it. Let go. Move forward. Never look back. The best revenge is not taking any revenge. Okay, before the best revenge was moving on, and now it's uh, not taking revenge, right? Okay, so how, how many times are they going to flip it on you, right? It's like, yes, it's multiple things, guys. So just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you go. It's, it, it's all good, just as long as it feels good, right? Just as long as you float with it, and it's, it's, it'll just obliterate you, yes, into the... The burning fields of Elysium. Look, he's look. He's staring right at them. Look at them. Look, he's he's in a tunnel, but no, he's looking at somewhere into the abyss. It, there's nothing there, nothing. It is simply moving on with your life, creating the best version. Right, because you are the one that can create that. Yes, you can actually manifest yourself to be the best creation. Absolutely. And therefore, there's no need to create AI. Oh, wait, no. You're actually the worst version, so that's why you're creating AI. Of yourself. This is all according to your doctrine, because it that's also a brainwash bashed idea. Oh. Is that it? Oh, that, oh. Look, of course, this is an alien. Look, see, everybody, look. Who has a skull like that? Nobody. Okay, and this person, what is this? A hybrid? Yes, of course it is. And this person is going to be euthanized because he has no place, right? On this fictitious, you know, you have here everything embedded. You know, the abyss, the false doctrine of evolution, what, and of course, you have life. Because all of this is, of course, not life. It is the counterfeit. Yes, none of this is life. Look, what is this guy holding up? A baton? He's passing a baton or a dildo because he just sodomized this guy into the corporate world. And of course, this guy's not human because he just sodomized him into submission and to go into compliance until he's no longer useful. Yes, they're telling you right there. And this person might be the young skeptic, sees this man. L- I don't know what it is, but he sees this take place and he's holding back. And what? Oh, yes. The youngest one is asking the 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 more elevated in age, perhaps in wisdom. But no, there's a division clearly right here. And look, he's he's going to be led to the slaughter and oh, the hybrid. This this kid has no chance. This one is done for because he knows he's next. And 
the ball that he brought because he told he was promised that he was going to play ball. No, that's going to be left on the couch where he's going to be sodomized. Okay, and all in the name of life. And of course, no, he's going to have to let go of that because he remembers the pain of the sodomy. But no, he will just have to forgive himself. Because, yes, he seduced this man to do it. So that's why you have to forgive yourself. Yes. And the situation, but not because this man was evil. And this and this was a manifestation of pure manipulation. Right? No, it couldn't be that. So uh, this person had to, all this person has to do is just turn. Okay? Turn away. Rebuke evil in his face but the thing is who's here to protect this person no one right the, the last man has been sodomized and already in the on his way to total abominable look at this is a shame a shell of a man okay look he's totally remembering the sodomy while decrepitly walking to his grave okay look no one's helping him okay this guy is clueless <laughs> Just clueless, Hold, has a piece of paper, right? Thinking he can still make a list of, of his plans. Nope, too late. And this guy thinking he's making something of himself, you know, changing the future. Nope, you're just living out the trauma that just happened to you. But you you don't know that because you, you have to life. It's a life, man. Don't you know what life is? Look. And look, he's not even looking back because he has to walk. He has to move on, right? Because this video pushes you to move on, right? This video pushes you to move on. And yes, never call this this person out. Never call this, this influence out. Never do that. Just forgive yourself and forgive the situation, not this individual or calling out what influence that represents or how it still exists throughout this whole process until you die right no no nobody will talk about that of course not but this person with a question no he's just told to shut up because this guy is still kind of curious because he's been told that gender is fluid and he nobody ever told him but of course this guy is going to tell him and he might even lure him into total sodomy and total defilement. And oh wow, this guy is going to later become, you know, some sort of uh, whatever, whatever this guy wants him to be. That's why they are controllers, they're handlers, and everybody who has a handler is abused and is abused at all levels. It doesn't matter. And you could you could have some sort of moral. Um, you know, pro projection onto others and you project your own moral, whatever, uh, brainwashing onto others. But yeah, this is an immoral reality based on the trauma that is caused in the so-called, you know, path of life, right? But no, this is all a lie. Yes, it's a lie because it's all about standing with truth. If at any point these people stood with truth yes it would shatter it would bash you know it would smash the the actual smashing influence yes it would totally annul it yes but no these people are oh, still waiting they're waiting to die and what just can't they, they will go up they will become this guy okay this guy that's what you have to look for if you accept this brainwashing yes life is what you make it oh right exactly it's all about you it's all about you of course the moon and the sun but it looks like mars to me so it's very look it's telling you very much the abyss right the red and the blue yes right in your face right just aim for the middle right hope for the best it, once you launch yourself into the abyss because you want to you want to go right through the o to hit it Right. And that's what this guy says right before he bent this guy over. Right. He wants to hit it and, and, and put it right through the middle. Right. The, the O through the O. And this guy knows it and he knows it and he's ashamed. And that's why he will never look back. And so if you're ashamed enough, you will also never look back. And that's called trauma. And that's why these people don't have to look at these videos and just, you know, shut up and move on. But they're oppressed. They're, they're smashed and, and just 
it's shattered inside and it doesn't matter because you you once you defile the innocence because there was nobody here to protect you nobody and it's not his fault and it's not god's fault it is your fault in the sense of wow look this guy was here but no he just chose to follow his career and listen to videos like this and you know ugh, move on and you know forgive himself and love himself more yes that's how he moved on but he forget he forgot that he was paving the way paving the paving the way to space okay he forgot and so he left this guy without a gas mask and he thinks he's bringing along everyone with him but no he's killing everyone yes make it magical right oh look infinite right of course it's panning into the abyss look look how many moons there are guys it's just incredible the phases be a shapeshifter yes it's all fluid and you can oh look life is what you make it search fearless soul of course right subscribe to get more uh information of how you can blast it into your soul more so you can beat it out of you yes and uh, at the same time you can also feel good about it right because you uh, it would be it would be unkind of them not for not to do that right I, inconsiderate because it's uh, it's always about the customer yes it is so if you get this you have to expect that they will be kind so that they smash you appropriately yes Okay, I'm going to stop it there.